Why do some videos keep getting a lot of views, but some are stuck at a very low amount of views? In this video, I'm gonna show you five tips that all of your favorite YouTubers use to get millions of views. Not only that, we are going to go in depth and learn how to apply these five editing tips to your video step by step. The reason I decided to make this video is a lot of my viewers reached out to me and asked why they are not getting consistent views. So when checking some of those videos, what I understood was a lot of those videos that are getting enough views are actually boring. So if the viewers get bored while watching your videos, they will probably go to another video, which will result in a bad retention rate. If you have bad retention, YouTube algorithm will not push your videos. That's why you are stuck in a low views count. Watch this video till the end and apply these five editing tips to your video, and I can guarantee that your views will skyrocket after that. The software I'm going to use for these editing tips is Filmora 14. Honestly, I really like this software because this is a very beginner-friendly tool. You can download this Filmora 14 using the link in the description. Let's start the process. The first main mistake a lot of new YouTubers make is that they only talk starting from the beginning to the end. They talk, and the only visible thing in the video is their face or their talking avatar. Let me ask a question. Would you like to stare at this talking avatar or my face for 10 minutes straight? Answer is probably no right. It's because it's boring and viewers are likely to lose interest. Tip number one, add B-rolls. Adding B-rolls, which can come from screen recordings, stock media, or text to video clips, is a great way to keep them engaged. If your videos are about tutorials like my channel, then you need to always add screen recordings. But when you are explaining something in the video, make sure to add stock media that can represent it. As an example, in this part, I'm talking about the evolution of AI and how we can use AI to create videos. So, instead of using this AI avatar for the next 20 seconds, I will add some stock videos in between. So, in the first three seconds, the AI avatar appears, then I'm gonna add some video about AI tools. Finding suitable stock videos with Filmora 14 is super easy. In this case, I think a video clip that can represent the advancement of AI tools is good for this next scene. I'm gonna go to this stock video option and search for AI. As you can see here, we have some amazing video clips about AI tools. You can just drag and drop these clips to the timeline. I think this clip is good. These visuals can keep the viewer's attention. And for the next part, I would like to add some clips about video editing. So just search it like we did before. Now that we have some cool video clips about video editing, I'm gonna add this first clip to the timeline. And guys, to make the clip more interesting, make sure to add cool transitions in between these clips. For that, go to this transition from the top menu. As you can see here, there are a lot of options available such as sliding, zoom, and fading transitions. My favorite type of transitions are light transitions. So I'm gonna add some light transition in between these clips. Just drag and drop these transitions in between your clips. It's really simple. Just like this, add B-rolls to your videos. It will make your boring videos not boring. Tip number two, make your visuals and background more interesting. Let me show you an example. In this video, the background is not that impressive and it's boring. It doesn't give any vibe about your niche or brand. Instead of using videos like this, we need to create a background that can represent our niche or brand. I use this exact method to create different backgrounds for my talking avatars as well. What you need to do is import your video to the timeline and enable this AI portrait cutout option. And within several seconds, this AI will automatically detect the movement of the character and remove its background. If you want, you can add several effects like this to your character, but I'm not gonna use those for this video. If you want, you can get the background by disabling this option. Now, we need to add a cool background for this. Go to this stock media from the top menu and select this AI image option. These are several background images that I generated for my previous projects. All you need to do is type a prompt to generate the image of a background that you need, and this AI will generate it. It's as simple as that. After your image is done, drag it to the timeline and place it under this talking head clip. Just like this, you can change the background of this video into anything. Another thing that we can do to improve this background is, you can add your logos and other elements in the background. As you can see here, in this background, there is a whiteboard. So I'm gonna add these logo and names to it and make sure to add this image between these two clips. So just like this, you can improve the background of your talking head videos. Tip number three, adding dynamic captions. When it comes to adding captions, one of the major mistakes that YouTubers make is that they just add captions without adding any style or graphics. 
Research has shown that videos with dynamic caption styles have a higher retention rate than normal videos. This is one of the videos that I'm currently editing. Let me show you how I add captions and make it more dynamic. First, you need to go to the titles and select this AI caption option, and you will see this transcribe button under the speech to text tab. Just click it. Now you need to select the language of the video and make sure to select titles instead of SRT file. Then click this generate button to generate captions. As you can see here, within just several seconds, I have transcribed this whole video. Now, let's make these subtitles more dynamic. First, select all the subtitles like this, and you can edit these texts using this side menu. First, I would like to change this font. When selecting a font for your videos, always add a font that has the same vibe to the video. For this video, I think a bold and modern font would fit. So I'm gonna select this font, and let's increase the font size as well. Don't make it too much bigger. Now, you can select a suitable text style from this list. If you select a font style that doesn't match the vibe of your video, your viewers will lose the interest. Therefore, make sure to select a good style with the same vibe. I think this one is perfect for this video. Finally, we need to add some sliding animations to these texts. Go to the animation from this menu and add a good sliding animation like this. Let me show you another cool thing that you can do to make your video more interesting. Whenever you present some valuable information or any key points in your video, edit the subtitle on that part differently to highlight it more. In this case, I'm gonna manually edit these subtitles. Instead of one text layer, I'm gonna add three layers on top of each just like this, and I'm gonna change its text to match the script. This is perfect. Now, I'm gonna add three different effects to these text layers. Now, as you can see here, this part is different than other parts, and it highlights that specific part. So, you can edit subtitles like this to keep your viewers' attention. Tip number four, sound effects. Sound effects are one of the main and most important elements when it comes to creating engaging videos for YouTube. With Filmora 14, adding sound effects for your videos is super easy. When you are creating videos, make sure to add sliding, whoosh, and any suitable sound effects for every several seconds. For this example video, I'm gonna add several sound effects. In this video, I need to add a whoosh sound effect when this video icon appears. For that, go to this audio from the top menu and select this AI sound effect option. Now here you can generate any sound effects using this AI. So let's type whoosh sound effects. Now we have three options. I'm gonna add this sound effect to the timeline like this. This process is very simple. All you need to do is type the sound effect you want and add it to the suitable place. Tip number five, add memes or jokes. This is a great trick that we can use to keep our viewers engaged. You have probably seen many successful YouTubers do this by adding meme clips. However, don't add jokes everywhere. Only add those to suitable places on your videos without harming the content. You can easily find funny clips and meme templates here. You just need to search on stock media. It's really simple. You don't need to search on Google to find these templates. With Filmora 14, you have easy access to all these clips. So you can apply these five tips and increase the quality of your videos, and it will probably result in a higher retention rate. Let me show you another cool thing that you can do with Filmora 14. There are some countries that don't use the English language often. Most of the time, those countries give high RPM rates. But the problem is, in order to target an audience from those countries, you need to make videos in that language, and you can't manually do that if you don't know that language. Here is what I do. First, listen to this video clip. Now click this Try Earth Studio button, and you will come to this page. Click this drop-down menu and select Quick Start. This is in the English language, right? Now, I'm gonna change this to German. Go to the title and select this AI caption option. Then you need to select the AI translation option. Now, here you need to select the language of your video. In this case, it's gonna be English. Then, select the language you want this to be translated. I'm gonna select German. Now, make sure to enable this lip sync option to get a better lip movement in your video. And let's see the final result. Klicken Sie jetzt auf diese Button, versuchen Sie es, und Sie werden auf diese Seite kommen. Klicken Sie auf dieses Dropdown Menü und wählen Sie Schnellstart. This is perfect. Now, you can use all these six tips to improve the quality of your video. I hope you learned some valuable information from this video. If you have any suggestions, make sure to drop a comment. I will see you guys in the next video.